Hey, what's poppin', y'all? What's poppin'? Welcome back. Welcome back to the Warren G707 TV. And I got a hot story for y'all tonight. A real hot story about Lake Herman Road. Lake Herman Road. Have y'all heard of that? Well, that's where the Zodiac Killer used to be. They made a whole movie about this. A lot of us weren't even born yet when this was going on, but Lake Herman Road, I had a very, very sick, crazy experience. And I even heard some things that happened over there, you know, uh, at the time when I was going to my job. This was 20 years ago, 20 years plus. And I used to work at FedEx Ground in Benicia, right? I used to drive to Benicia, to Lake Herman Road, graveyard shift, late night, 2 a.m., 3 a.m., right? And I'm going down Lake Herman Road. Woo-wee! Won't y'all try it? <laughs> but yeah, man. So let me get into this story. So one day, right? One day. I'm working graveyard shift now. I'm going in at 3 o'clock in the morning, dark. Dark, 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 right? Especially over there on Lake Herman Road. And when it get real foggy, ooh, it get bad. When it get real foggy, it get dangerous. So anyways, I'm going to work, right? I'm going to work. And I like to take the shortcut, which is the Lake Herman Road. I would take that way. It would cut my drive like 10 minutes, right? So I would take Lake Herman Road. But one day, it was real, real, real foggy one day. I'm talking about extreme fog to where you could not see. You couldn't see nothing. I'm talking about pitch, like just straight fucking fog. Like you couldn't see nothing. Have you ever seen the movie Fog? I don't know if y'all seen that movie Fog, but man, the fog was so thick, it was dangerous. And Lake Herman Road is you got one lane going that way and you got another lane going that way the opposite way right so that is dangerous i'm talking about dangerous so i'm on my way to work i jump on lake herman i'm driving down it's real dark right and it get real real foggy i'm talking about real foggy and lake herman road is a long road i'm talking about it's long too you know, it ain't really that fast. It's a shortcut to cut through some uh, streets to get to the job. But the street itself is actually pretty long. So anyways, I'm thinking to myself, I'm driving on Lake Herman Road. And I'm thinking to myself, too. I'm like, man, I shouldn't even go down this damn road. Because look how thick this fog is. I can't even see. I'll fuck around and drive off the damn road and go into a ditch, into some bushes or to some trees or something. You know what I mean? It was just it was just dangerous. I was on some real daredevil shit, though. I was on some real daredevil shit. So I ended up doing it anyway. And I had a co-worker with me in the car. And she was scared in a motherfucker, boy. She was sitting in that passenger seat like, oh, my God, I know you're not finna go down this road. I'm like, man, I'm finna do it. And... It was another co-worker, too, in another car. And he was behind us, right? He was behind us. I, I looked behind me in my rear view. Hey, he, he made that U-turn so quick. Hey, that was probably the smartest thing to do. He made, I was trying to be hard. I'm trying to be hard, trying to show off, trying to drive through Lake Herman Boulevard. I mean, uh, road. And it's pitch black, dark, and it's foggy as you get deeper in there into the road. You know what I mean? But anyways, he made a U-turn. He took the regular way. I don't blame him, right? So anyways, we driving. I'm going hella slow, too. I'm talking about hella slow, right? I'm going hella slow. And uh, I'm, I'm getting close to the end. Finally, I'm getting close to the end on Lake Herman, right? And right before I get off the, uh, the road, you know what I'm saying? You could kind of see like something moving a little bit like on the side of the road and I'm I don't know if it was an animal I don't know what the hell it was but it, it was creepy as hell and uh she in the passenger seat she like what the hell I see something it's foggy but I see like something moving 
like uh, like something right there in that bush and I'm driving hella slow and we scared in a motherfucker. We don't know if it's an animal. We don't know what the hell gonna come out of there. A coyote, a wolf. We don't know what the hell was gonna come out of them bushes. We scared. We didn't know what the hell was going on. So we, I'm driving and she's like, oh my gosh, hurry up and get me off this road. Hurry up and get me off this road. Please get me off. Please get me off this road. So I finally, finally get off the road and um, we get onto the main street and we damn near get to the job. And she like, man, don't ever take me down that street again. What is wrong with you? That was hella scary, right? So check this out. The next day, my other coworker, he took that way, right? He took that way. He took the Lake Herman Road way. And uh, that time, that day, I didn't take it. I took the regular streets. He took that way. So he ended up coming to work like an hour late, right? And everybody's like, what the hell? Why you come to work an hour late? What's the point of even coming to work? What's the point even coming to work still? You come in an hour late, right? So he come in, he's like freaking out. He's like, oh my God, man. Oh my God. Uh, I just, I just, I just rushed this lady. I just rushed this lady to the hospital. I just rushed this lady to the hospital. We like, what? What is you talking about? He was like, man, I just rushed this lady to the hospital. He was like, I drove down Lake Herman Road. I'm driving down the road. It's pitch black dark. I got my high beams on and I see a Caucasian woman running towards the car, bloodied up. I'm talking about blood all over. I kid you not. He's like, she was bloodied up running towards the car. I had to stop because she was running towards the car. I didn't want to run her over. So he stopped. She runs up to the car. She's like, help me, help me, help me. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. He's like, what the hell? And she's like, get me out of here. So he opens the door, right? Let's her in the car. He said, when she got in the car, she was full of blood. I'm talking about bloodied up, like beat up. I don't know what the fuck was going on, but he said she got in the car looking like a Bloody Mary or something, just sitting there, just bloody, like looking like a straight monster, right? Then he said after that, he took off because he didn't know if somebody was going to come running at the car or charging at the car or anything could have attacked him and try to do some harm to him, right? So he take off. He gone. So he rushed her to the hospital and everything and get the lady safe. So he comes back to the job. You know, and he tells us, he's like, man, this lady, she ran up and she jumped and I, I, I took her in my car. I put her in my car and I took her to the hospital. But we like, damn, that was some scary ass shit. Because what if that was a setup or something like, you know, what if she was? I don't know, man, I was just weird. Like just to even let the bloody woman jump in your car. I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him. He I know God got to give him his blessings for that because, man, Lord knows what was going on. Somebody was out there trying to take that girl out in the middle of nowhere, Lake Herman Street, Lake Herman Road. Nobody's over there. It's pitch black dark. Ain't nothing around there. No houses, nothing. Just straight fields. If you go a little further across the fields, it's nothing but hills and fucking water, like a lake, Lake Herman. That's why they call it Lake Herman. It's a fucking lake, but it's dead. Nothing over there. Mid like nothing around nothing around right it's crazy but he rushed that girl to the hospital and got her safe but when he came to the job he was shook up boy i would be too though if you think about it some bloody caucasian woman you know she just randomly running out of nowhere you know from the and that, on the lake herman road too a pitch black uh road like that it's dangerous it is dangerous so, man, that was the story right there, man. That was crazy, but I'll give it to him, man, because if I would have seen, been in that situation or something like that, I don't know what the hell I would have did. I probably would have gave her a ride, but at the same time, I don't know. It's easy to say what you could and can't and won't do, but, man, bro, that was some shit. Lake Herman Road, it's creepy, even till this day. You know what I mean? They even you can even find like the old sheds and shit back there, like maybe where he probably the the Zodiac killer was staying. 
You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's, it's creepy over there. It's real creepy. If somebody wanted to do any type of criminal act to Lake Herman, that shit over there ain't cool. So I advise y'all, don't drive through Lake Herman Road at night. No, no, no. No late night hypes. Don't be driving down that road. I don't see why you would be driving down that road anyway. You shouldn't have no reason to unless you're going to FedEx. Unless you're going to work or something or taking the back roads, the, the back streets to get somewhere. You know what I mean? But, yeah, man, that's the story I have for y'all, man. Lake Herman Road, man. Ooh-wee, that street creepy. Even when you drive down that street, you can, it just feels the vibe. It just feels weird. It feels weird. The whole vibe. You know what I mean? It's just real creepy, like, you know? But, man, whew, Lake Herman Road, man, that was a crazy experience that I had when I went, drove in through the fog. But my partner that I that I went to work with, it wasn't nothing near the experience he had as far as, like, seeing a, you know, a lady bloodied up like that, just running up to your car like that. That's scary as hell. So anyways, yeah, that's what I got for y'all. That's the story that I got for y'all tonight. And I told you, I'm going to bring y'all some of these stories too. It's, it won't just be straight topics. It'll be stories as well. You know, maybe I can start doing the stories on the weekends. You know, I got the good stories, the good late night stories on the weekend, you know. Keep it interesting for y'all, you know. So anyways, I'm out. Y'all have a good night. Have a good weekend. And I'm out. Signing out, baby.